This video is about how to read a histogram. When we look at our histogram, we can see that it has different sections. The first section in gray here is the black section. The next section is our shadows. Then we have our midtones, our highlights, and finally the white parts of the image. So before you get working on your histogram, it's a good idea to kind of check out your image and see what kind of tones you're working with. In this image, there's snow and so, and a white building, so there is a lot of white in the image. And so we would expect a lot of high peaks on the right side of the histogram. The nice thing about this histogram is we don't have anything climbing up this side, which would show that there's overexposure. And we don't have anything climbing up on the left side showing that there is underexposure. So overall, we have our information centered in the middle of the graph, and that's generally what we're looking for when we take the picture. Now once we get it in Lightroom, we can make enhancements to that and spread out this a little bit to get a little more contrast in our image. So to do that, the first thing is, even though my snow is white, I think I'm going to brighten it up a little bit to bring out some of the exposure uh, details. So I'm going to pump this up a little bit, give us a little more life to our image. I can push it uh, fairly far as long as I don't go too far right there where I just overexposed everything. So I'm going to pump it up just a little bit. And that made my whites brighter. But now you can see there's a big space between... There's a big space between this part of the graph and the end of my graph. So I can push my blacks over to the left. And I'm going to grab that slider and do so. And you can see down in the darker parts of the image down here, it's affecting that. Now, if I wanted to push this really far, you could see it would start climbing up this side. And in some ways, that's bad because now I'm losing information in the dark parts of the picture. And at any time, if I want to check if I'm losing information, that's what they give you these two little arrows for. You can see if I click this arrow, it lights up blue anywhere I'm losing information in the dark parts of the picture. So that helps me with my black slider to figure out where that should be. I think it's fine to have a small amount of blue show up because when you make a print, you want to have something be black in your picture it makes the overall tone of the picture look nicer. So a small amount of blue showing up here I think is fine. On the other side, I can take that one off and I can check this one. In this image, there is no overexposed highlights because it's not showing anything in red. So my whites are nice and white, but they are not overexposed. So that is working well. In this image, if I had a problem with my midtones, that's what the uh, shadows slider would do. So you can see here, if I go this way, I can make my midtones brighter. And if I go this way, I can make my midtones darker. I think um, they look pretty good right where they are, but I think I might take it down just a tad. So that now my shadows a little bit less. And I think it adds a little more drama, especially in the rocks, just by adding a little bit of that. And so checking out my histogram, it's a good looking histogram and I think that the image looks better. Let's check out the before and after. You can see here it lacked contrast even though it was shot with the right exposure. Here now it's a little more dramatic by pumping up the highlights and bringing down the shadows, we expanded the contrast in the image, making the image more interesting. So I hope this lesson helps. So make sure you check out your histograms and see if you can improve them, even though if you shot them pretty well in the camera.